Kate headed to the BAFTA headquarters in central London this morning to speak at an event hosted by addiction charity The Forward Trust, of which she became the patron in June. For this important event, Kate donned a pleated bright red midi skirt and a matching fitted turtleneck. She accessorized her outfit with pointo nude pumps and a £295 micro handbag from Demelia. Alongside other partners, the Forward Trust launched today the Taking Action on Addiction campaign, a long-term initiative working to improve awareness and understanding of addiction. The campaign also aims at looking into the scale of addiction in British society to enable more people to ask for and receive help. At the engagement, the Duchess was joined by TV stars Ant and Deck, accompanied at the event by their wives Anne-Marie and Ali Astor. Upon entering the venue, the Duchess was surprised by Ant, Deck and singer Tom Walker waiting around a corner. Almost jumping for the surprise, Kate laughed and joked, I WASNT ready for that. She then discussed addiction and support with the trio, listening in particular to Ant's personal experience. Opening up on his addiction, he said, by the time I asked for help, it was bad, but as soon as you opened up to people, problems have got to disappear. It gets better and help is there. The Forward Trust has been helping people break the cycle of addiction and build a better future since 1991. While the future Queen Consort started collaborating with this organization only earlier this year, she has been deepened her understanding of addiction and worked with another charity focused on this topic for several years. Action on Addiction has previously been an independent organization, supported by Kate's patronage from 2012 to May this year. Then, it officially merged with the Forward Trust, which continues to offer action on addiction services. At the star-studded event, Kate met some of the beneficiaries of the charity and heard stories of addiction. Kate's engagement comes amid Addiction Awareness Week, running from 18 to 24 October. During the launch, Kate delivered a keynote speech highlighting the importance of tackling misinformation and misunderstanding surrounding addiction as well as the need for more compassion around this issue. She said, thank you Mike and the Forward Trust for bringing us here together this morning. I am so pleased to be joining you to launch the Take Action on Addiction campaign, and I am grateful for those of you who have shared your experiences of addiction with me here today. Addiction is not a choice. No one chooses to become an addict. But it can happen to any one of us, none of us are immune. Yet it's all too rarely discussed as a serious mental health condition. And seldom do we take the time to uncover and fully understand its fundamental root causes. The journey towards addiction is often multi-layered and comp, but by recognizing what lies beneath addiction, we can help remove the taboo and shame that sadly surrounds it. Kate also notes how addiction roots in early childhood experiences and warned the coronavirus pandemic has had a devastating impact on addiction rate. This focus on the early years and the impact they have on the development of a person goes hand in hand with the Duchess legacy making work on early childhood. After working behind the scenes with experts and charities for a decade, Kate launched the Royal Foundation Center for Early Childhood in May, set to research and educate on the topic to give all children the best possible start in life. Kate's trip to central London comes to Two days after she took part in the first ever award ceremony of the Earthshot Prize, the competition launched last year by her husband Prince William. During the glitzy night, the Duchess delivered an impassioned speech focused on children's future and the importance of acting now to protect it. Speaking from Alexandra Palace in London, she said, A thriving natural world regulates our climate, nurtures our physical and mental health, and helps feed our families. If we don't act now, we will permanently destabilize our planet and we will rob our children of the future they deserve. Our Earthshot Prize finalists show us, however, that we can, by 2030, see the natural world growing, not shrinking, for the first time in centuries.